here in beautiful Mendocino County, California to discuss the difference between container growing and in-ground growing, the benefits uh, of each technique as well as the drawbacks. And we have to discuss with us today Casey O'Neill with Happy Day Farms. Whoop. Hi Casey, how you doing? Hello there. Oh, stellar, another Far day in paradise. Up. Yeah, it sure yeah. is. This is a beautiful farm you have here. A little piece at a time. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, a lot of work. It's a, it's a good thing. Great. So hey, so let's get right into it. Um, container growing. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the benefits of growing in a container. So you know, the nice thing about containers, uh, first of all, it's, it's fairly quick. You know, we, the first year we were on this site, we were in containers, boxes and pots because it's, a, it's contained, it's, you know, it's, it's quick and you, and you have control of what you're putting into it. So you're able to really dial in what you want to be there without having a whole lot of variable from the, you know, the, the, the soil profile that's pre-existing. So, and, and also you don't, you don't struggle with pests. You know, the gophers can't really get into the containers. And that's so that's one of the, okay, so those are the benefits of containers. You have a little more control, yeah. control with what kind of, you know, soil you're using, mm -hmm. the mix that's in there. Mm -hmm protection from pests. Mm -hmm. Any other benefits to container growing? It's, um, you, can, you can really sort of dial your water use and, and really know how much water you're putting into each plant. It's, it's much easier than, for instance, you know, we're in long rows here. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, we, we can keep track of how much water we use, but it's, it's definitely more of a, you know, we're also watering the spaces in between the plants. And so, um, you, we're going to end up using more water in this paradigm than you are in a, in a container paradigm. And, and part of that, the balance for us with that is that we try to use, you know, we're, we're intercropping and so we're planting, you know, flowers and vegetables and things in between so that we're able to make use of that extra space in the water usage. Beautiful. Uh, I see you've decided to grow in ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, so why have you decided to, uh, to do that? What are some of the benefits of growing in ground? You know, a big part of in ground cultivation is sort of that that French terroir, that accessing of what is the native site capable of delivering to the plants, the, you know, the terpenes and the flavonoids and all of the different perspectives that, um, you know, to a certain extent are the intangibles, but at the same time are also, you know, quantifiable. And, and so for us, it's been this process of, of, you know, we started with very, very rocky clay soil, not, not good soil at all. And over the years, we've kind of by hand subtracted the rocks and added a lot of compost and you know a certain amount of bagged amendments and have started to build you know what is essentially this this very rich dark quality soil that for us has been you know very much a uh, a process of creation and you know that's that's one of the it's kind of the for us as farmers it's it's nice to be able to really focus on what we started with and, and see it get better every year and become more bountiful and more productive and and it's you know it's doing good work and while still maintaining some of the character of the region that you're in bingo gotcha bingo. That's beautiful that's and that's beautiful. you know they talk about it in wine a lot where it's like you know you can grow chardonnay in two different locations and even though it's the same cuttings from the same grapes you can end up with totally different profiles and and aspects to it and so that's one of the things that we're really keyed into here is that um we have a very unique method of, not so much method of production, but, but result of production in which, you know, the strains that we grow are things that we've been working on for years, acclimatizing to this area. The soil is unique to this location with what we've put into it. And so sure. what we produce ends up being something that to us is totally special. How about that? So uh, are there any drawbacks to growing uh, directly into the ground? Yeah, it's interesting, you know, as, as I reached into the soil just now to pull up a handful, I hit a gopher tunnel. Really? And so it's like, man, because what happens is, you know, the native soil is, is, like I said, it's really this heavy, rocky clay that the gophers, are, you know, I mean, they, they'll do stuff in, but it's to them, like, this, this nice, soft incredibleness is, is just a playground. And so there's, there's definitely gopher tunnels under these beds. And, you know, I, uh, sort of a, a traditional American agricultural paradigm, which I, we just poison them and kill them. And <laughs> sure. obviously, you know, that doesn't work for us. And uh -huh. so, you know, we, we set some traps. I have terrible luck with traps. Amber can catch them. I, I'm just terrible at it. So, you so, know. Uh, so one of the drawbacks to doing it in ground is maybe you have a little more, uh, the, the pests have more access to the roots of the plants. Definitely. As and opposed to being in the container. Uh, any other drawbacks to growing in ground besides the pests? You're gonna, you're likely to use more water than okay. the pots. Um, and, and you know, one of the 
it's, it's, a, it's always a balance. You know, everything with farming is a balance. And that's for us, we try to balance that by seeing how many crops we can pull out of the same space. And so for instance, when these are still small in the greenhouse, we've, we've got these, all these beds are planted to uh, salad mixes and cooking greens and all sorts of different um, food crops that as the cannabis, you know, we'll, we'll plant them out and we'll leave a space for the cannabis. Cannabis goes in, as the cannabis gets bigger, we harvest the vegetable crops away from it. Right. And then same thing as we get to fall, we'll sow in cover crop, we'll sow in fall crops. And so we try to maximize as much as we can pull out of each bed so that, you know, we can sort of balance that extra water usage. Far out, that's great. Uh, I think we covered it. All Great. right. Thank you so much, Casey. Total pleasure. 